What's up YouTube? I uh, just wanted to take you guys on a quick update of my fish room. It's been kind of a while since I did a video. So, um, alright, let's get started. So here's my 75 gallon. Um, not much changes to this tank. Um, I've added a few rainbow fish. I don't know why I've been starting to get into rainbow fish. And I've been really hoping some of my long term plecos start to breed. Um, yeah, that's that tank. Um, this tank over here um, is my blue dream tank, but what I have also added recently is um, one of those, um, what do you call it, panda loaches. And that one is already starting to transition. I have my colony of Sunamugo Luminatis in here. They're all kind of hiding right now. Um, so I broke down my tub in the back. That just was not working at all. Um, so my hope is um, I'll keep these guys in here for a while, pull them all out, and hopefully the, the fry start to appear. Then right next to it here is my um, cherry red shrimp tank. And I also have a couple of um, super red pleco fry in here and some um, tiger marrow snails hoping those will throw some eggs and then I'll throw them in a brackish setup so hopefully I can um, get those eggs to hatch uh, right next to it is my um, yellow gold um, Rio Carabina shrimp tank uh, I just have these white clouds in there because I'm currently battling some scuds um, I need to I pull them out before um, any of the females um, give birth. Hopefully, pretty soon I'll probably pull them out because I don't see very much scuds anymore. Uh, but they uh, they do a really good job of cleaning up the tank. Both of these tanks um, had a lot of scuds. And if you kind of can see underneath this tray, they're all hiding underneath that tree, and that's where the white clouds can't get them. Yeah, so that's it for. My bottom tanks um, you guys all know this tank right now it looks really crappy how about a month after the fish show I got hit with a bunch of um, green hair algae uh, good thing it hit now and not before but I'm thinking about tearing down this tank it's been about a year and a half since I had this set up wow uh, I'm thinking about you know it, Especially this HC carpet is not looking so good with all that hair green algae growing inside. So I'm probably gonna just tear everything out and start all over. Time for something new. Um, but the big new thing in my fish room is this rack right over here. I just put this in. Um, I went to the pet store and picked up some more um, mud skippers. So Skippy isn't alone in anymore. Yeah, he's the biggest one back there and so far he's been getting along with them. I was kind of worried that maybe he'll pick on the other ones because they are smaller. But uh, he got upgraded to a 20 gallon long and there's a lot more room. So I'm happy about that. Um, over here is my Shelly tank. And right now there is a lot of babies. I'm not sure if you guys can kind of catch that. They all kind of hide whenever I get too close. But this tank has been doing well. I always have to take out a bunch of that valve. It starts to overgrow every now and then. Below that is um, just a community tank, planet community tank. It's had its better days as well. I should probably trim a lot of the plants back. A lot of the red root floaters up here is blocking too much of the light as well. Yeah, that's that tank. Um, my saltwater tank. I recently took off the cover and installed this light. Um, and I put in this clear cover here. I just cut it out of um, polycarbonate. But um, there's a lot of algae in this tank as well. It's had its better days. I think I need some turbo snails to kind of clean up a lot of that algae. I used to have a blenny in here that I always used to chew on the um, eat up all the algae but um, I think someone killed it because I saw the shrimp eating its body one time so I'm not sure what happened 
Um, here's my wild um, guppy tank. Hey, that guppy doesn't look that wild. I've never noticed that one before. But yeah, this is a wild caught guppy. I'm gonna put anything else in here. That female looks pretty, a lot more colorful than I, I've ever expected out of this tank. Um, this is just a fried tank of some guppies that I'm trying to grow out. And um, you guys probably have never seen this before, but this is my uh, frog setup. Um, there's just these uh, four brown wrinkle frogs. Um, those are actually invasive in Hawaii, so um, they actually want you to get rid of them. Um, so it's not, you know, it's okay for me to take them out of this wild and, you know, so that they don't overpopulate. Um, but this is an up and coming project. I choose, I mean, I'm gonna move those frogs into this setup pretty soon. I got a pretty good deal on this um, polydarium. Um, but um, that's gonna take me a little bit of work. I'm still collecting a lot of the material. For that, I got these at a pretty good deal. Buy one, get one free. But hopefully, um, I get it to look like something like this. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, and here we have my um, freshwater pikefish set up. In here as well, I have some blue near Carolina and some chocolates. I'm hoping that they will breed in here and create maybe a purple strain. I heard that might work. But I just threw in some Daphnia. I do that twice a day, and that's what this guy eats. And I have a couple of pandaloches in this tank as well. And one, um, a mono shrimp. Yeah, this guy is a lot of fun to watch. He's constantly hunting down these Daphnia. Just kind of grazes on them all day. A lot of fun. And then finally, I have my um, my jar set up. And here I have a couple, a pair of um, metal head black lace. I'm calling them. Really pretty guppy. And. They had uh, four fries so far. That's the little tank that I'm growing out there fry, which you saw earlier. But well, like I need another guppy string. <laughs> but I couldn't help myself when I saw this. But yeah, um, I also have some other things going on in my backyard. But that's um, for another video. Also upcoming is the setup of my polydarium. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. See you on the next one.